If you remember in my last video, I had used an old plate with this piece cut off so you could see how this was made. <clears throat> and this little disc, if you remember, I had put a flange over the top of it to hold this stock seal in place, but I decided that that flange was not needed. So I made a new one. This is going into my 1974 model CH Sportster. The OD on this one is 1 inch exactly, and the ID is .625. <clears throat> it's a board except the stock uh, Harley-Davidson seal. Now what I'm going to have to do is take this, and I'm going to put this in here. It's designed to be interference fit. I'm going to press this all the way down to the bottom, and then I'm going to insert this uh, seal. And that way it's going to give me a seal for this shaft. So <clears throat> the oil can't come back up and through here and leak uh, into the uh, cam case to this direction. It's going to end one of the problems with the Harley-Davidson uh, wet something. And more than likely what I'm going to do, since this is interference fit, I believe in no fudge factors on these things. So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to bore me a little bitty hole right there, and I'm going to put a brad point set screw uh, to permanently lock that little disc in place. And of course, I'll cover that thing with a plug, so if it does leak, it can't come out through that area right there. And that's going to cure the problem with my sports to wet something, because I had already used the test plug, and the check ball uh, did not leak an area drop in one week. But uh, within one week, uh, I lost pretty much all the oil out of the bag into the uh, cam case. So hopefully this little fix here will take care of it.